Big Z Reviews. Deadpool and Wolverine is the newest Marvel film that has come out. And it is one of the better ones they've done recently. But it still has the problem where I honestly don't think I'll ever have as good an experience watching it for the first time. Especially in IMAX. Like, I don't think I'll enjoy it watching it at home. Just because it's so reliant on crowd moments. And while that's not necessarily a horrible thing, it does, like, impact how I feel about the movie. Scott used to beg me to wear this suit. So did Storm, the beast. But I couldn't have him thinking I wanted to be there. And it was too late. It's only nine people. But my entire world is right here in this picture. So Deadpool and Wolverine was directed by Sean Levy. And it mainly stars Ryan Reynolds as Deadpool. And Hugh Jackman as Logan or Wolverine. And there's a bunch of other characters that are with it. Probably it's one of the most important ones is Emma Corrin as uh, Charles Xavier's uh, uh, sister twin that was never born. I think it had like a really small bit in some comics, but really an interesting character to use in this. And then Matthew McFadden, that's kind of like the bad guy at the uh, the time people, the people that are in charge of the, the timeline. And I think one of the weaker parts of this film is that it's so, it's essentially it's based on everything introduced in Loki. And it, it's, it's odd because... It feels like Loki 2 didn't happen. Like, I guess you could say maybe Loki 2 happened after this movie. But it feels like a lot of that stuff revealed in Loki 2, the second season of Loki, like, would mess with what happened in Deadpool and Wolverine. Like, it's definitely, they wrote this and probably made a lot of it without knowing what they're doing in the second season of Loki. And... But it's still, it's cool. I mean, this movie is really funny. And I had a lot of laughs. And I, it was uh, it's really cool. A lot of cool scenes. And I mean, I had a great time with it. But it's kind of like, it's, it's thing, I don't know if you ever noticed that with a lot of the films lately, with like all of the, like the, the big moments, especially when they're like, like, oh, look who's playing this character. Oh, that character. Oh, that character. Oh, that character. And, like, you have this thing where, like, the it, the scene happens, and then there's a beat. And it's, like, it's for the crowd to go, ah! Oh, ah! You know, it's the crowd to go crazy. But then, like, when you watch it at home, it feels like, I don't know if you've ever seen those edits where, like, people have um, taken the laugh track or the the laughter from the live audience in shows like um, Big Bang Theory, Seinfeld, How I Met Your Mother, like, different shows like that. Like, they've taken the laugh track out, and then you just have the joke, and then, ha, 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 ha but then the, without the ha, it's just the joke, and then, and then they continue the scene, and it's like... It's so weird. It's like um, it's like the 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 web comedy, like Garfield without Garfield. Like it can like it 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 feels like it was it it was meant for the theater, and this is amazing. But at the same time, like it makes it not as good at home. Like and that and it's funny. I watched leading up to this, I didn't watch all of the X Men, but I watched the three Wolverine movies and the two Deadpool movies. And it's funny watching. Like, the Wolverine Origins is by no means a good film, but I did have more fun watching it this time for some reason. And, like, Logan is still a masterpiece and amazing. Like, one of the best Marvel films ever. And, uh, although that time it wasn't Marvel, it was uh, Fox or whatever. But, um, the, and this, and then with Deadpool, I think the original Deadpool, I've watched it so much, I'm watching it again now. The jokes feel a little dated, a little old, but still, still a good movie. Deadpool 2, I actually liked a lot more than I remember liking it when I watched it at the time. I think maybe it's been a while I didn't rewatch it that much. The Deadpool 2, I absolutely loved. And this one, like, I think, I don't know, 
how I'll feel like when I watch it again. Maybe I'll still hold up. Maybe I'll still enjoy it. But like in this, so much of this film, like actually introduce a setup uh, with the whole the uh, the the time cops, the uh, the the Marvel uh, multiverse cops, like the, the like that that whole stuff is so much, such a big aspect of this film. That it's like, oh, okay, I, I, I see why you have to do that. But it's like, once they get to the meat of the film, which is them, which is again an episode from Loki season one, where they go, they throw them into like where all the variants go when they zap them. They go to this like other, other world that like, and they, you know, they, but like they, that stuff is pretty fun. There's a lot of fun stuff, a lot of fun cameos. A lot of good cameos, a lot of things that are just for the cameo, and but they're they're good cameos, you know. <laughs> but it's like once you get past that, it's like what is this movie really offering? What is the story of this movie? And uh, there isn't one really. I mean, other than like Ryan Reynolds and Deadpool as Marvel Jesus, and it was funny. They 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 do let them make fun of the MCU, which I appreciated, but like. And I, I, I think I one thing I missed. Is I love their 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 repartee. I love them to being together. And interesting, like this this uh, Logan is one that failed. Like the worst Logan. Although I, I feel like Old Man Logan is the worst, probably the worst Logan. You know, it's it's kind of funny that I would love. It'd be interesting to see a Marvel version of it now, but they could actually do it. Like like what Logan did was a, an adaptation of the comic in a way that they could only do it without all the other things. Because, like, the actual comic of Old Man Logan had, like, a big part with old Hawkeye, and they had, like, a b- whole family of hulks, that, of incestuous, uh, I think, I, I can't remember if they're cannibals, too, cannibalistic hulks. And they had, um, the whole thing is, like, Mysterio, the Spider-Man villain, like, tricked Wolverine to murder all of his friends and family at the, uh, the mansion, the X-Men mansion. And that, like, and that's what, like, kind of ended mutants, like, and, and that he, you know, it's, so it's like, they did, said they did, like, Charles Xavier had a, a seizure and killed a bunch of the X-Men in the movie. But, like, I, I would love to see, like, it's, it's so many stuff is really a trap through the, uh, Marvel Universe, like, in, in comic form, like it's kind of like it's like a what if. I I I've never got around to watching the what if cartoons. I don't know if they did anything with it or not. I need to finish watching them. But um, like this is just like I I love the Marvel movies. I I, I watch every single one. But I've noticed lately I don't rewatch them. You know, the, except for Guardians of the Galaxy Volume Three, which is like a completely different beast than the other MCU films. Like, I haven't re- really rewatched any of them. Even, like, Endgame. Like, which is, like, one of the coolest movie experiences I've ever had, like, in a theater. But I really haven't felt the need to rewatch them. And I used to rewatch watch all the, a lot of the movies more than once. And I haven't rewatched the newer ones, really. Like, I just, I just don't feel the need. And the ones, some of the ones I do watch are, like... I, I still love Spider-Man. But so much of that is is like has that cameo pause, you know, and the crowd the applause pause. But at the same time, I mean, this is really fun. Like I travel like two hours to see an IMAX. Although funny, it worked out. There was like some other movies I saw, Twisters, and I saw Oddity. That was the main one I I stayed there for. But it was at ten, they had one showing at ten o'clock, and I but I saw Twisters in between. And I saw uh, um, Wolverine and Deadpool in uh, in IMAX 3D, and it was awesome. It was great. It was it made the trip worth it. But like it's it it, it left me feeling odd. Like, it's still like is this is supposed to save the MCU? But it it I feel like it's just a little bit more the same. I and mean, it's still really funny. I love an R rated Marvel film, and there's a it's. The jokes are are there. The jokes hit, and the action is a lot of fun, and I I I love so much about of it. But it still it lets me wanting more at the same time. Like I, it's interesting. I I really 
I'm curious to see how it'll hold up. But this is one that I do want to watch again and see what I think. Because, it, I mean, there's so much of it I love, but then there's a lot of it that I'm not sure about. You know? like Especially a lot of the stuff relying on the whole um, Marvel time continuity cops from the Loki series. You know, like all of that stuff is such a big part of this film that, like, you really you have to watch the first scene of the Loki to know what this film is about. And I hate that aspect that a lot of the like the stuff that's done lately is like that too. A lot of the that's one of the problem with a lot of the other late um, Marvel films lately that you if you don't if you don't watch all of the things on Disney Plus you won't know what's going on. But at the same time, I think I probably give it like an eight out of ten. Like it, I liked it, but I, I didn't love it for some reason. I, I don't know. I'll have to see what I feel, like when I watch it more than once. You know whether it has that same feeling with all the cameos. I think it did watching it, but at the same time I watched it with an audience, so it's tougher to gauge that. But uh, thanks for watching. If you want to see more, you can subscribe down below. Thanks.